AITA for ignoring my husband after he embarrassed me in front of my entire family? I, 26F, have been married to my husband, 28M for two years. We have been together for four years in total. I love my husband more than I can even express in words and our relationship never really had any major dips until last weekend. In high school, I dated a guy, who we'll call Dan. Just to be clear, this is not my husband. I cannot remember exactly how long the relationship lasted, but it was no more than a year. We did a lot during the time we were together. A lot of our first experiences with some things were together. Things did not work out in the end as we both wanted different things in life so we ended the relationship and moved on from each other. My sister, 29F, ended up befriending Dan in college and they have gotten very close. Since it's been so long since our relationship ended, I really do not care. Neither does Dan. He is very close with my family because he gets invited to so many of the family gatherings. Last weekend it was my mother's birthday and there was a party thrown for her, which my entire family attended, along with family friends. Of course, my sister invited Dan, my husband and I usually do not attend birthday parties, but I insisted that we go to this one seeing as it was for my own mother. My husband agreed. My husband works a very demanding job so he is normally unable to attend family gatherings. And so he's never met Dan. Nor have I told him about my history with him. At the party, Dan was introduced to my husband as my ex. It was my sister who introduced them while I was in the kitchen speaking to family. When I came back, my husband seemed a little off and when I asked him what was wrong he just brushed it off and wouldn't answer me. During the dinner, my husband seemed distant and so I asked him again if he was feeling okay. He immediately stood up from his seat and seemed upset that I hadn't told him about Dan. I tried to explain to him that I didn't feel the need to but he didn't listen. He completely lost it and started to call me names that he has never called me before and he even said he didn't know if he could trust me anymore. This was all in front of my entire family and family friends. I have been ignoring him since the party. He seems to feel very guilty and he keeps trying to apologize to me. AITA? Why was Dan introduced as your ex-boyfriend instead of your sister's current boyfriend, a family? Friend? NTA. First. Your sis didn't need to introduce him as your ex or even mention the past relationship. It's long gone and neither of you even care. She could have mentioned him as her friend or BF. Secondly, his behavior was atrocious and should be discussed at length with a therapist he's obviously feeling insecure and realized that yes you did have a whole life and relationships before him. And your life didn't just magically start when you met him. Thirdly, you need to figure out if you can forgive him and move past this. Is this something that will happen again and again? Or will this be a one-off for him? Will the marriage recover or will it be too hard to look at him every day? His behavior was horrible and he really needs to speak to someone and find out why he reacted the way he did. You didn't mention Dan for the simple reason that he's not an important part of your life. Nor was the relationship noteworthy to mention. Couples share exes. But not everyone does nor do they need to. Your husband may be feeling insecure but he's definitely realized you had a life before him. Couples counseling could be great. Ash. If you know your ex appears frequently during family gatherings why would you not want to give your partner a heads up? Even though you felt like it wasn't a big deal it probably seems like you hid it from him. Also what will giving him the silent treatment accomplish? Your husband shouldn't have reacted that way at all. He was wrong for that. Better communication might have resolved this. Welcome to R. Am I the asshole? Please view our voting guide here. And remember to use only one judgment in your comment. 
Op has offered the following explanation for why they think they might be the asshole. 1. I have been ignoring my husband since last weekend. 2. This may make me the asshole because my husband is trying to apologize to me for what he did but I'm still ignoring him. Help keep the sub engaging. Hash don't downvote assholes. Do upvote interesting posts. Click here for our rules and click here for our FAQ. Hash hash subreddit announcements. Hash hash hashtag happy anniversary. AITA. Follow the link above to learn more. I am a bot. And this action was performed automatically. Please contact the moderators of this subreddit if you have any questions or concerns. Contest mode is 1.5 hours long on this post. Esh. He overreacted and behaved inappropriately. And sister probably didn't need to introduce him like that. That being said, in four years of a relationship where your ex attends a lot of family gatherings, it's never come up? He is a little justified in being annoyed at being caught off guard. And probably had a very awkward and unnecessary conversation with your sister. That could have been avoided. NTA first of all I don't see why your sister felt the need to introduce him as your ex. It was a high school relationship. Not like you guys were going to get married or something. Secondly. Your husband is not entitled to know about every relationship of your life. He completely overreacted and became unhinged. Esh the cold shoulder is immature. Him yelling at you was immature. Especially him calling you names. He's entitled to be upset. He's not entitled to take that anger out on you in such a way. I get why you didn't tell him about Dan. It was years ago. It was over and you two have zero romantic feelings for each other. It probably didn't occur to you because of that. But I also get why your husband felt blindsided. You two need to sit down and talk like mature adults. You should apologize for childishly ignoring him but let him know the way he spoke to you is absolutely not acceptable. Ash, you should have given him a heads up. It might not seem relevant to you. But your husband was blindsided with your ex at an event. One you knew they'd cross paths at. He was blindsided with his existence. His presence. And the knowledge that you've been seeing him regularly at these events that your husband hasn't. Been able to attend. And with the knowledge that you've never. Not once. Mentioned it to him. He shouldn't have lost it at you that way in front of that audience. But it depends on what he actually said you didn't give examples. Not sure you're a reliable narrator. How can this guy be so close to your family and yet your husband has no clue who he is? NTA. His apology should be as public as his outburst. Info you say you don't normally attend birthdays why? I think your husband is the asshole for his behavior at the party. But I'm wondering how long you plan on ignoring him. Since that's what you're asking whether you're the asshole about doing. You are married to him and you live together. Right? Your embarrassment and anger may be justified. But you do need to plan for a resolution at some point. Esh. While your husband's reaction and name calling was gross. It also seems strange that you never once mentioned Dan to him and how you two had known each other. That in the intervening years after your relationship, your sister had become very good friends with him. Communication could have stopped this whole situation with him. And it will do better to communicate with him now instead of ignoring him. Esh. But mostly you do. You should have given your husband a heads up so he wouldn't have been blindsided like that. YTA. Both for not telling your husband about your ex hanging out with your family all these years and for the silent treatment. He reacted like that because he was blindsided and hearing news like that from someone else when you had all the opportunity in the world to tell him impacted his trust in you. He did overreact but I understand why so instead of being immature about it with the silent 
Treatment you should apologize to each other and stop being so weirdly secretive. Esh. You for keeping this info from him. It was bound to reach him from some channel. Better would have been from you. If your ex is so attached to your family. And in relationship with your sis. Even if you don't care for it. That doesn't make it insignificant info for your husband. Had there been no proximity with your ex. It could be said that you don't have ton share details of all your past relationships with him. But that's not the case here. I am curious to know why you hid this info. Missing missing reasons here. Your sister for getting into things that are not her business. It's your prerogative to share info about your past relationships with your husband. Your husband for lacking patience and tact to take this conversation in private. And understand from you why you felt the need to keep this info from him. Maybe it's his anger issues that stop you from being open with him. Maybe you've pulled off similar things in the past. And that day was the last straw for him. More info is required. Esh. He didn't need to go off on you in front of your loved ones but I definitely see why he was angry. With you. You should have told him about the high likelihood of running into your ex that you had a year long. Relationship with. He should not have had to hear that from your sister. Wouldn't you be caught off guard too? NTA. I am so confused what the issue is. He knows you didn't spring fully formed from the earth do you know all the woman he's been with. Since high school? Plus even if he feels some kind of way why curse you out in public? I just think how would you have felt if the roles were reversed? Would you be comfortable with Hub's ex sprung on you at a family gathering? Also Hub's didn't need to have a public tantrum about it. Esh. Esh. I don't believe that you innocently felt that Dan's presence at many family gatherings. And the fact that you dated your sister's current BF back in high school for roughly a year was just so trivial that you forgot to ever mention it to your husband. I think you purposely withheld that information to avoid any jealousy. And because your husband usually isn't at those events. And so your husband ended up feeling blindsided. You've been together since you were 22, if he's never heard of one of the few serious boyfriends that preceded him, it's because you like keeping secrets. Then he acted very poorly. But if you were being honest in the first place, this wouldn't have gone down this way. And now you've been ignoring him for an entire week while he tries to apologize? What's your end game here? Wait to see if he grovels enough for embarrassing you. After you embarrassed him. Or just says, fuck it, and leaves you. YTA. Or at least. I get why your husband is mad. Maybe Esh depending on what he said. If Dan is so close with your sister that he attends family events. Like this isn't your sister's birthday party. It's your mom's. Then your husband should 100% know who he is if you dated for a year. It would be different if you went on three dates and it fizzled. It would be different if he was some ex you had 0% chance of ever bumping into. Your husband isn't reacting to the fact that you once upon a time had a boyfriend in high school. He is reacting to the fact that you never prepared him and thoroughly blindsided him. And the fact he has to learn this from sister, ex-boyfriend. Why didn't you just tell him? At any time in the past four years, there was a strong likelihood of bumping into your high school BF at some point. Similarly, how many events did husband not attend that Dan did? Again, lying by omission. He even said he didn't know if he could trust me anymore. Yeah, BC you lied to him for four years before he was blindsided at a family event. I have been ignoring him since the party. He seems to feel very guilty and he keeps trying to apologize to me. First, you stonewall. Then he is apologizing. Why is he apologizing? For the words he used? You should be apologizing for the four years of lying. Look, I'm a fellow straight woman. This is something you tell your partner. 
If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.